You are watching the Tech Teacher Network. Delivering technology to educators. A free mind mapping tool. In this episode, we're going to talk about a free online a website called texttomindmap.com. What's really nice about this tool is this tool is available for you and your students uh, to use before doing a writing activity, a PowerPoint presentation, or maybe even a podcast. It's very simple to use. Students just put the text in the left-hand column over here, and then when they hit refresh, it will generate the mind map over here. So I've already started one on animal groups, and I'm just going to finish it up here. I got my uh, main idea is animal groups. My topic is amphibians, and my subtopics are uh, the frog and salamander and so on, all the way down. So let me finish up my birds. And what I'm going to do is, as I cr if I want to create um, a topic or subtopic, I just indent to do so. So I'm going to indent to create my subtopics. And we'll just type in hawk, hit return, and chicken. Now that I've done that, I hit uh, convert to mind map. It's going to get rid of the sample one over here and give me, and give me my mind map. And so I have a free-flowing mind map to go with my information that I put in. Now, if I want to control that free flow, I just click this freeze map button. That allows me to move these around so that I can control where they're at. Now if I want to go full screen, I go over here under controls and I click on full screen. And now I'm in the full screen mode. And so if I'm presenting this in front of my students, I might want to use that to get out. Just hit escape. I also have the ability to change the fonts and the font size and the font color. I have the ability to change the the main idea, the topic and the subtopic coloring. And I can change the lines between those. I can change the color and the size. And then finally, I can also save my mind map. So if students want to share this later on with somebody, they can actually save it as a JPEG. So it can be put on the website. Uh, put into a PowerPoint or even uh, put on a CD or a flash drive to be taken home. And that is a simple tool for you to use in your classroom called texttomindmap.com. Thank you for being part of the Tech Teacher Network. For more information, please visit my website, which is located in the podcast description.